Jesus said, I will never leave you and I will never forsake you. Anywhere you are, in the deepest part of the ocean, on the land, in the sea, on the air, he gave us his promise. He said he's going to be with us. He said, Jesus is with me. Come on, echo that. Say, Jesus is with me. Say, Jesus is with me. Forget you. Sake unka. 
every day, every night, in the morning, in the night. Once upon a time, there was a man, a man named Tunde. He was a born-again child of God. He has the gift of the Holy Spirit in him. The Lord commissioned him as an evangelist to go about witnessing about the good news of the Lord Jesus Christ. This he did 
through morning cries, evangelistic outreaches, and house-to-house evangelism. The Lord backed up his word in the hands of Tunde with some signs and wonders. was not satisfied because he felt he was not popular. He felt he was not known. And then he had to have a rethink. This uh, house to house evangelism is very tasking and tiring. I have not even covered many grounds since I started. Many of the people I approach are not even receptive to the gospel. Some living in big compounds use their dogs to chase me away. I cannot continue this way. I think I need to switch office. Hmm. What office? Oh, what office? Um, prophet? Yes. Prophet. Prophet. After all, both are God's work. Just that I am applying wisdom. Operating in the office of an evangelist, I need to go after the people. But in the office of the prophet, the people themselves will come looking for me. Isn't that great? Mm. He had a switch, a dangerous switch, a switch that would change the course of his destiny for life. A switch that would change the course of the call of God upon his life. Today went into the prophetic. 
Don't forget, I said, Tunde was initially ordained as an evangelist by God. He now went into the prophetic. Truth be told, people began to flood Tunde's base. He began to pray for people. And people began to give testimonies. And he felt he was gaining relevance by that. Not long after that, evil struck. Why have you left the beauty boost? Why did you decide to leave your original beauty boost? Why? Uh, sir, it's because I wasn't popular. I wanted to be sought after. I wanted to be known. Are you working for yourself or for God? Is the God who ordained you to be an evangelist not able to elevate you? What is it with you, man? What is it with you, children of God? You want to help yourself when God has already paved the way of that for you. Sir, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I have disappointed God. I have disappointed my maker. Please help me pray to God. Please help me pray. Perhaps if you will hear me and forgive me, probably heal me of this my sickness and weakness. The key to your healing is your repentance. You need to go back to God with the contrary spirit and the true and genuine heart. You need to ask for the forgiveness of your sins. You need to beg the Father. So it can restore you to time. This present condition that you find yourself in is as a result of your gross disobedience and flagrant anger. His word says, If my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and come to me, then I will forgive their sins and I will heal their land. Your forgiveness and that Go back to your sins. Go back. Lord. I'm sorry, Lord. I'm sorry. If you are watching this drama, maybe the Lord is speaking to your situation. Maybe you are that Tunde that God wants you to have a rethink. Yes, Tunde might have a second chance. But who tells you that you will have a second chance? Relevance is good because the Bible says the earnest expectation of the creatures awaits the manifestation of the sons of God. It is true that a generation are waiting for you to unleash the gift and the power of God upon your life. But if you want to do that, make sure your motive is right. Make sure you are aligned with God because relevance does not validate the call of God for your life. That the minister is relevant he ministers here and there, the inviting for programs here and there does not validate the call of God upon his life. That a minister is popular does not make him present in the register of God. What matters is the motive. What matters is the call of God upon your life. What matters is the gift and grace of God upon your life. Don't trade it for anything. Don't trade it for relevance. Don't trade it for popularity. Align yourself with God and you will see this God setting you on the pedestal of greatness and it shall be well with you lord i'm sorry have mercy i'm sorry lord i'm sorry forgive me forgive me lord i'm sorry i return to my duty post i will return in me in me of my sicknesses ah, i humble myself before you in repentance god i'm sorry
Hello everyone. Hi, I'm Ashegun Oluyemi, known as Ashek's Baba. And I am a gospel filmmaker. I am a director, a writer, a cinematographer, and uh, someone who is so much engrossed with fulfilling God's purpose and mandate in this cosmos. I know you have been hearing the news about uh, an upcoming movie titled Mine. M-I-N-E. Mine. Yeah, it is true. It's coming from the stables of Ashek's Baba TV. Mine is coming to your screen. Mine is a very relatable story. It's a very fantastic story. It's a story that, you know, uh, talks about alignment with God's plan and purpose for your life. So, whether you are young, you are old, you are an adult, you are a young guy, this movie speaks directly to you. When you watch it, I believe the Lord will touch your heart and it will bless you mightily. So, do well to share every of our promotional videos, every of the awareness content videos that we are doing as Touching Mind because we want the message to reach everyone, we want it to go far and near. And we believe that the Lord we give the movie wings by the grace of God to fly across the nations of the world. It is coming by November on YouTube. It will be streaming on Fejo's Baba TV. By the grace of God, we'll be hearing this movie live and direct on Fejo's Baba TV in November. The official poster, the official flyer that will contain the date and the time will be released very soon. So keep anticipating for mine. Tell a friend to tell another friend about mine. What is mine? Who am I? Who are you? What, what exactly is about this mind? You still have to wait. Till then, God bless you.